Hey, everybody. Hey. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as you know, we are homebrews and homebodies. Uh, we are super excited for you to get to meet everyone. Finally, I know you've seen a lot of our faces, uh, but tonight you get to see everybody, which is super exciting. Um, thank you so much for everyone who's followed us. I think we have like 28 or 29 followers right now, which is probably about 3,000 more than I thought we would. So, you know, it's fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, so what we want to just let you know is we're in the middle of a campaign of Descent into Avernus, which is a D&D &D module. Uh, it's a fifth edition module. Um, we, you will get a recap of everything that has happened thus far. We promise we will at least give you a background of what we are doing. Uh, we are kind of in a little bit of a sticky situation that we are going to be thrown right into. So we did want to give you a catch up before we got too far into it uh another thing i want to remind you we are not professionals in any way shape or form <laughs> we are a group of friends who have been playing together for a while and we just decided that we were going to try streaming because it sounded fun uh so we are gonna have fun we hope you guys have fun with us um uh, there may be technical difficulties i'm the one running tech i should definitely not be the person running tech because i'm not great at tech but i'm doing it and it's happening I believe in you. Thank you. It's happening. It's it's a thing. Um, I'm trying to think. What else do we need to check off? Again, thank you for everyone who has followed. Thank you for everyone who's tuning in tonight. Um, all of our art. Thank you to those who may tune in on YouTube later. That's true. Or on the pod later. You, you know, know, it is. It is what it is. Uh, I want to thank Mallory for all of our art, all of the art, the overlays, everything you are going to see tonight. Mallory has done single handedly. She is absolutely wonderful. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there. Bear with us. We are going to try and do this the, as best as possible. This is our first time officially streaming with everyone. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah. So let's introduce you to the team. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. 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 <laughs> so What's amazing? here's the team uh let's uh let's go around and uh say who we are and oh my Alexa's is trying to talk in the background uh, perfect and there's henry perfect all around um let's uh whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Poor Henry. He saw somebody <laughs> outside that he thinks is a threat, but is actually just like a, a squirrel running down the street. Yeah, yeah honestly, squirrel. like Henry's perception is way up there. Yeah. Very high perception rolls for Henry. <laughs> Very high. Not good at charisma, though. Oh, there we go. Cookie sticks is the problem. You just need cookies. This case. <laughs> you just need the cookie. Cookies did That's not all fix I the problem, unfortunately. But oh, it's okay. Well, you know. It's okay. We will play through him even if I have to turn my microphone all the way down. So, uh, Mal, let's start up with you. Let's do some uh, character character descriptions. So, all right. tell us about your lovely character. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Mallory Mize, and I, in this campaign, play Jade, who is a level four uh, tabaxi rogue uh, with the assassin subclass. Uh, she is an all black tabaxi uh, with bright green eyes. She always dresses in black, so she's got like uh, black leather armor, black cloak, all of that sort of thing. Uh, and she also always wears a puka shell necklace that she took off of somebody uh, that planned to murder her and tried to uh, get Cora from our party to help kill me. And so I decided that I was going to beat him to the punch. And now I wear his puka shell necklace as a reminder. Um, 
I mean, that's pretty much it for her. Although I will say the two emotions that she understands the most are uh, chaos and aggression. Um, and <laughs> that's basically how she operates her whole life. Cool. Uh, my name is Naeem, and uh, I am playing the character of Korra. Korra is a Yuan Ti sorceress. Um, she's a pure blood. Um, the thing about Korra is that she's on a revenge quest right now, and she's sort of like the very beginning of it and sort of realizing where, uh, like, who these people are and how they can help her sort of achieve what she needs. She's obviously after that to some degree. Um, and that makes her much uh, like Jade, very much a ball of chaos. Uh, she's anywhere between dressing up as people to try to uh, socialize with them. She does not know how to socialize. And then she's also like getting into their minds and, and uh, uh, incepting them. So that's, that's Cora, just right in a nutshell. And she's pretty awesome. She has like long, dark hair. Uh, light blue skin, and um, I would say very large eyes that tend to draw you in. All right, I guess it's my turn. Hi, I'm Kylie, and I am playing the character Vianola Ferva. Uh, she <laughs> is a fire genasi bard. Uh, she is a College of Eloquence bard. She is sassy and gets herself into trouble as much as she possibly can um, while also trying to keep the trouble at least to an organized chaos uh, without too many shenanigans going on. Uh, she is a violin <coughs> player or a fiddle player. Uh, that is her go-to. She is not a singer or, or a actual lore teller. Uh, her go-to is playing the fiddle. Um, trying to think of anything else I can say about her. Um, she's sassy. She's got a taste for booze and she is always down to have a good time. So, you know, your standard, your standard bard fare, but yeah, that is, that is Via. All right. I'm Drew and I am playing King Gizzard, the Lizard Wizard. He's a dragonborn divinity wizard, and uh, it kind of talks <laughs> like this. Um, in, in keeping with the joke I have with his name, I'm taking this way too far. Uh, <laughs> and he likes to set shit on fire. Like He likes to hit it a lot. Uh, he's got his breath weapon, and he's got a bunch of fun spells that he can do to control the battlefield or just crisp them all up. Um, he's a little more rotund, uh, portly kind of fella, and he likes to kind of roll around sometimes with his uh, familiar, Stu, who's a rattlesnake. All right, and give us one more second. Uh, it's sending you, I swear. <laughs> give us one more second. Like I said, we're not professionals. We are. Uh, we are doing this one thing at a time. And also, as the one who does all the art, uh, some things you just uh, make things uh, very last minute, like tonight. <laughs> so that brings me, I am so sorry. My name is Pink. Oh, sorry. My name's Tiffany. Um, <laughs> I play the character of Tink. Um, she is a tiefling and she is of the Ludvistus strand. So she is cold natured, but she is fire resistant. She is blue. She has red hair. She is a tinker, thus the name Tink. Uh, that is the name she chose, not the one that was given to her. Uh, she is very solitary, but likes to help people. That is why she is a battlesmith artificer. So she creates things to help people um, fight and do cool stuff. I have a battlesmith, his name is B, uh, B E E. And I have a little homunculus right now. His name is Frank. Give me just a second. And he is the dragon. Uh, give me just a second and I will show you Tink. She is beautiful. 
Well, thank you. That's very Both sweet of you to say for one that got made very quickly. But I mean, I'm still pretty happy with her for a, a good 30 minute. Uh, <laughs> I am sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Everything <laughs> is just going to be fine. It's, everything is awesome like I, said, I will switch her clothes and stuff later because i know she's not in the right outfit but. it's cool okay she's in just one second let me try and save her one more time because <laughs> apparently it didn't like that i swear i didn't do anything different than i usually do and i can just read my stats let's see uh and strength, 12 in dexterity, 15 constitution, 20 intelligence, 17 wisdom, 10 in charisma. Bam. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yay. <laughs> it's working. It's working. <laughs> My very, very fast version of Tink. <laughs> we, will, we will get an updated version of Tink, but for tonight... You know. For tonight, here we go, and we've got Tink. Look at how fancy she is. <laughs> Flowing Until locks I up here. It, yeah, but I'll, I'll look at it in like three seconds or whenever it refreshes. Yeah. For me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm waiting with maiden breath. I know. Oh, I'm is so it not going? Excited. I'm so sorry, guys. No, it's not going. No, it's not. It's the upload link from yours, so we get, like, screenshots every, like, 15, 30 seconds. Oh, that's not yeah. good. That is actually not yeah. good. So right now, um, I'm let us know in the, the chat if it's not playing right. Yeah. yeah, let well, us know I mean, what's going on. Yeah. On, on yeah. I look like this. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> hey, it's fine. This is our. Did very I go the right way? Team. So you oh, know what? I sort of counted on this not going completely correct. Oh, also, now I'm drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking. I. Which cast we drinking too? Do not love it us today, but it's. Fine. Oh, my cup went upward. <laughs> this is not Perfect. going well. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. Honestly, I would have been shocked if nothing, none of this had happened. I would have been like, are we sure <laughs> we did it right? It went fine for the two of us. It did. And it went kind of fine when we all recorded the other day. It just messed up the audio for some reason. But the video was fine. Or was it? No, it was the opposite. The audio was fine. The video was not fine. Right? This is fine. But has anyone in the chat said that it's not playing right? Or I haven't had anyone pop in the there, chat to say anything. Yeah, uh, let me try.